Hi guys, connecting to Raspberry Pi is easy if it's linked to your local network or via Ethernet cable. It gets a little bit more complicated if you have a dynamic IP assigned to your router and you wish to connect from outside. So I'm going to show you how to update automatically your IP using no IP DNS free host service. Let's have a look. Thanks to no IP website, we can get free DNS service. So let's do this. Open your account and decide your host name. Your IP should be assigned automatically. However, if you have a problem with it or you want to specify a different IP, just uh, Google search for your IP and enter it in a target. We have our Raspberry Pi hooked up to the LAN network, so log in and start executing commands. First one, sudo bash. We're going to navigate to local directory and we're going to download files and scripts responsible for updating our website with the correct IP. You should see the links on the screen right now and I also will make sure that the links are available for you in the descriptions of this video. After a while the file is downloaded and installed on your Raspberry Pi. When the file is downloaded on our Raspberry, let's uh, prepare it for installation. Once this is completed, we can execute it using make install. This should only take a moment. In the initial setup, you'll be asked for your username or email address and the password for no IP account you just created. You can also decide if you want to update all host names or particular ones. You'll be also asked about the time interval you wish to update to happen. This is specified in minutes and by default is 30 minutes. If you want any notifications about the changes, it will ask you if you have a, another script to execute uh, when the update is completed. I don't have anything right now, so I just skipped it and set it to no. Your configuration file is placed in a directory highlighted by me. Another thing that we can do is make sure that this service will start when Raspberry is booting up. To make this happen, all we have to do is just modify RC local file and add additional line to it. Make sure this line will be added before exit zero uh, line, as this is where you're supposed to have it pasted. Control O to save it and on Control X to exit the file. Everything is ready on our Raspberry, so let's start the service itself. You can do so by executing this command. And once the service is started, we can also check on the actual status by using that command. If everything has been done correctly, you should see your host names available to you to look at. At this point, our work on Raspberry Pi is completed. However, we still have few things to do in our router settings. Let's go to DHCP reservation and make sure that we have our internal IP assigned and ready for our Raspberry. We want to make sure each time we're going to use this IP, it's going to be connecting to our Raspberry only, not to other devices. Another step is forwarding the correct port. The default port for the SSH connection is 22, so I'm going to use this as an example. However, you're encouraged to change the port for security reasons. This means the moment we're going to ask router for port 22 connection, it will redirect us to local uh, IP address responsible for our Raspberry. At this point, the configuration is complete, so let's connect it. As in my previous video, this time I'm going to use Putty to uh, initiate the secure shell. What we're going to specify is the host name that we used, and in this case, running through default port 22. If you followed every single step, you should be able to establish terminal connection. As you can see, I'm saving my profile and from now on I can connect to my Raspberry Pi from uh, different computers or different networks without any problems. Just enter your username, password and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, let me know what do you think about the video in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked it and if you already subscribed I'll see you in the next video. Bye!